Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I saw Mommy kissing Alpha Claws. Alpha Claws is a 6% Christmas porter from Three Floyds Brewing Company in Munster, Indiana. You know, back in the day, my dad would tell me stories of his childhood where they'd get dressed up in all these extra layers of clothes in the winter, and they'd weave these soft willow branches together and they would whip each other in the streets. And that's kind of what I'm imagining this guy on the Alpha Claws label, you know, that's probably what he's thinking about. So let's just jump right into that. But first, before I get into it, I want to thank my executive producers, Ryan Berry, Rob Santana, Eric Letowski, and Zach for helping bring this video to you here today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy to get early access to these videos and a lot of other special perks. Also, big thanks to John Farner from soundbeer.com for making the drive and picking this one up for me. So let's take a look at what we have here today. This is Alpha Claws. This is from Three Floyds. It was bottled on October 21st, 2020. This is December 5th, so this isn't too old. It says Alpha Claws in gold across the top. It says it's not normal, which is their which Three Floyds motto. It says Three Floyds with the skull, the crown, the wings. And uh, it's got this guy kind of behind all that, and he just looks like this just nasty-looking dude with a bunch of um, armor on, basically. And then across the side here, it says brewed and bottled by Three Floyds Brewing in Munster, Indiana. Government warning on the other side. It says Alpha Claus is Alpha King's festive cousin, a big American Christmas porter brewed with English chocolate malt, Mexican sugar, and, of course, tons of strange American hops and their website, threefloyds.com. As you can see from the overhead, it has the typical, traditional Three Floyds bottle cap, which is like a green and pink swirl. It has a Three Floyds, uh, not really the logo, but these two hands holding the three Fs. And it, yeah, that's what we got here. So I'm gonna use a Tiku glass here today, and we're gonna pop the top and get a nose on the bottle. Set that over to the side here and get a nose on it. It smells, to be honest, I know it says it's a porter, it smells like an IPA to me, or like a pale ale. It has a bit of a, almost a Christmas tree kind of quality going on there, so let's go ahead and pour it. Coming very dark, as you would expect a porter to come out of the bottle. Cola colored, I would say. And that's got a real nice head kind of growing up on there. Uh, the, the bubbles, as you can see from the overhead, the bubbles are really, there's got, there's a little bit of a larger kind of mass on the side, but really compact, really nice looking head, a little bit off white. It's probably close to tan, maybe a little bit darker than what I would consider to be tan. Uh, holding my fingers up here, I've got about two fingers of head, just really nice condensed, packed tight head. And let's hold it up to the light here. Really dark. I mean, that's not, I'm not seeing through that. That's super opaque. And let's put a better nose on the glass here. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of a sweetness, kind of a sweet aroma. I am, I feel like I am still getting almost like a hoppy uh, pale ale aroma. I was going to say IPA, but it's not quite as strong as an IPA. It smells a little bit more like a pale ale. It smells kind of Christmassy. Yeah, so let's try it out. Cheers. So we'll start out with the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel is medium body, a little bit lighter than medium, but it's not uh, it's not super light, not super crisp. It's just got a kind of nice mouthfeel, coats your tongue, really um, very porter-like. So porters are generally a little bit on the thinner side. They're like, I don't know, there's so much debate going by about what a porter actually is. I would say it's probably a thinner stout. Uh, and that has, this is following that same kind of trend. It has a real nice mouthfeel. I do taste a little bit of chocolate up on the front, a little bit of a roasty kind of malty flavor, a little bit of um, just kind of nice roasted malts. But then as on the swallow, as it kind of rolls over the crest of your tongue, you do pick up a bit more of a sweetness, a little bit more of a sugary kind of sweetness. And then there is also a little bit of a, a piney kind of hoppy note in there as well. Not really tasting any of the alcohol. It's really uh, nice and mild in that respect. But it's a good, I think it's a really good kind of Christmas porter. It has, 
you know, you get that chocolate, you get those roasty kind of notes, you get a little bit of that sugary kind of note, and then you get that nice kind of hoppy, uh, piney bitterness in there as well. But it's not overly strong. It's not something that um, I feel like it really balances out the whole flavor. I think if it was all that kind of chocolatey flavor, all that sugary kind of sweetness, I think that without any kind of hoppy presence, it might be a little bit too sweet, too overpowering. But I think that that hoppiness kind of brings it down to earth, brings it down to your you know, to a regular level, uh, a, a more normal level. And then on the swallow, you pick up a little bit more of those kind of uh, roasty malts, a little bit more of a roasted kind of flavor, almost coffee, um, but not quite that strong. Let's give it one more shot. Yeah, it's got a lot of the kind of, you know, telltale signs or the kind of the, the typical flavors that you would get out of a out of a porter, or at least that's how the finish is. Porters are generally a little bit more smoky, a little bit more roasty malt, you know, have a little bit more of a roasty malted flavor. This one is like that, but again, on the front end, you get a little bit more of that chocolate, you get a little bit more of that sugar, you get, a little, and then again, on the swallow is where that piney bitterness comes in. If you are looking for a really good porter and a really good Christmas porter specifically, like this is great for this time of year. It really re does remind me of kind of Christmas time and it calling itself a Christmas porter is a, a perfectly great description for this beer. All right, friends, that has been Alpha Claus from Three Floyds Brewing in Munster, Indiana. Have you had this one? Or maybe you've had one of the other variations of Alpha King before. Maybe you have a favorite Three Floyds beer or maybe just a Christmas beer. Let us know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorites if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.